Dimitris Avramopoulos was the European Commissioner for Migration and Security between 2014 and 2019, and he joins me now. Good evening. Good evening from Athens. Good evening. Uh, Mr Avramopoulos, is this crisis similar to that that you faced back in 2015? Uh, Not really. Let me tell you that at that time, in the year 2015, Europe was taken by surprise. And as you very correctly said before, more than one million people managed to cross illegally, yes, the European borders, having one thing in their mind, how to go to Germany, to Sweden and the countries of uh, 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 North of Europe. But at that time, finally, we all agreed, all member states, to adopt a common European policy on addressing migration. It worked. And in the year 2016, as you remember, we had an agreement which uh, was like a statement between the European Union and Turkey, and we managed to stem the flows. But what is the situation now? Lukashenko is weaponizing migration. This is the difference between 2015 and now. He's applying pressure on Europe by engineering this crisis on the Belarusian borders with uh, Lithuania, Latvia, and Poland. He aims to force, this is the, the main target, to force the European Union to ease sanctions on his uh, country. He doesn't care about the humanitarian dimension of this uh, issue. He also wants to block to launch a dialogue with his government, start bargaining, and this is the the, the, the purpose behind that. Well, the, another Which, way of looking yes. at this is that described by the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, who said Europe had a responsibility to accept the migrants because of policies, he said, that Western countries have adopted for many years, uh, oh, sorry, have been pursuing for many years in the Middle East and North Africa, trying to impose a better life on them according to Western models. Is this, in a sense, the, the, the culmination of, of Western policy in the Middle East? That's what Sergei Lavrov is arguing. Well, there's a totally different approach. As far as the European Union is concerned, we shouldn't forget that uh, the European policy on migration uh, right now is based on principles. On the one hand, we have to better manage our borders. That's why we enhanced and we beefed up the Frontex. Now it's a European Borders and Coast Guard. On the other side, is how to provide these desperate people with support, as it is our duty if they are refugees. There were some problems, but now it works. So what do you do in this specific instance then? Uh, Is uh, more sanctions on Belarus the answer? Definitely, yes. Because, as I explained before, Belarus is responsible for that. In this environment, the European Union has a a very important role to play. The bloc needs to show that it will no longer tolerate the weaponization, as I said at the beginning of migration. It is important, it is crucial that the European Union not enter into dialogue with Lukashenko because this is what he's aiming to. As with any form of blackmail, it would be senseless and maybe dangerous to make concessions because the aggressor will not will, will only demand more. This would signal to other authoritarians that such tactics can work. The European Union, I would say, needs to address the root cause of the problem. But to what extent is this complicated by the fact that the European Union and Poland uh, don't have the smoothest of relationships at the moment? Poland's also introduced a state of emergency that uh, doesn't allow anyone access to this three-kilometre exclusion zone, and that would include Frontex. I mean, there are difficulties here to actually resolve this at an EU level. Exactly. There are many difficulties as a result, the Polish authorities now block, as you know, hundreds uh, of attempts to illegally cross the border. But we shouldn't forget, and this is the problem for the European Union, that the Polish Parliament passed a law that permits pushbacks under domestic law. They def- sorry, they defy the basic principles upon which the European migration policy, policy is built. Meanwhile, the government has deployed well, the big number, 2,000, 12,000 border guards to monitor the area. Now, the countries should work together with European partners to manage the situation, no doubt about it. However, all this has taken place Mm. against the background of Warsaw's intensifying battle with the European institutions over the rule of law. And Poland was one of the few EU countries to refuse to take in refugees. Dimitris Avramopoulos, thank you very much indeed.